What's up guys, just landed in Salt Lake City. You would think I was like dressed for winter, but I'm just really cold, low body fat probs. So Narman and I showed up at the airport this morning wearing the same shoes. Not planned. Okay. Um, we are in a taxi. I am eating some chicken and rice cakes. And we are headed to our hotel. We're gonna get settled and get in our final lift, just a light full body pump. And then we're gonna go to Target, stock up on some of our needs, uh, rice cakes and show day type things and also like some toiletries that I need to get. And then we're also going to probably spend a good 15 or 20 minutes perusing the snack aisles because food. Because that's what we do. As she's eating asparagus. This is the most stacked pro show I have ever done and probably one of the biggest lineups I think I've ever seen as a pro, right? You know what I mean? Like there's close to 40 girls doing the show and that's like the amount of girls you would see in like an amateur level, uh, Wait, like, na really like national level show. There's over 30 girls. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, like I don't really worry about the other girls. There could be five girls or there could be 50 girls, you know, all you can really focus on is bringing in your best and that's absolutely what I'm doing and I'm going in confident and just ready to kill it. So I'm excited. So excited. Yeah, excited. <laughs> Hungry and excited. And this diet face though. I, skits, I yeah. like it. I don't like it. Why does it's too round? I like a little, I like a little chub on my cheeks. What do you guys think? Diet face isn't cute. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys once we get to the hotel. What's up guys? <laughs> we are settled in the room and this is what goes down a couple of days before the show. <laughs> uh, we actually just got back from Target. We like spent probably a good over an hour in there, but we're just trying to kill time for like our next meal and Target it was. We went in there for rice cakes and each left spending a hundred dollars each. <laughs> Thanks Target. Thanks a lot Target. But I did pick up these uh, eye masks. So this is Cabela uh, Professional Moisturizing Eye Masks. I have a sensitive skin mud mask on as well. It's um, rose oil. What else? It's supposed to soften and calm and it's good for sensitive skin. It is Thursday right now. We compete on Saturday, so we still have one more full day before the show, but before you compete, you kind of just want to take it easy. Um, so we're not doing like any cardio or anything like that today. Um, you definitely just want to reduce any risk of like inflammation uh, in the legs or anything like that. Taking it easy, drinking all the water, peeing all the time, and watching the Food Network, and working on client programs. Love it. Well, Narman, are you looking at a food Instagram page right now? You don't even want to look at my Instagram. <laughs> How did I know? Instagram story. This is all I've been posting. Look Can we this. show them? We're gonna show you guys. Click again. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God. <laughs> this is her Instagram story right now. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Wait for it. Not done. I'm not done. Now I'm done. <laughs> we both have been dieting, prepping since January, mm -hmm. and have done back-to-back -back shows. So, needless to say, we're done. We're ready for a break. Not even just physically, but like mentally, mentally. I think more than anything. So, um, I have some very exciting news. I after well, hello. After the show, um, the next week, I am going on my first real vacation in like over two years. I mean, you guys know I travel a lot for work and things like that. Um, so I get, I'm, I'm blessed. I get to see lots of like beautiful different places for, of the world and that's amazing, but it's always somehow related to some kind of work event, which I'm blessed to do so many things that I love to be able to do and that I'm passionate about. But for once, I booked a trip for pleasure. And I'm going to be meeting my mom and dad there and I haven't seen them since Christmas. So like my heart is just like beating with just so much happiness and I'm just so excited to see them and spend an entire week with them and just vacation. So I'll still be working. I'll have my laptop there with me and I'll be keeping up with my clients and all my client programs while I'm there. But just knowing that I I'm not gonna be like attending any events or anything like that. I can actually just like spend some quality time with my family and just relax and not be in prep or just everything. That's just everything I need in life right now. So I'm very happy. 
it is Friday, the day before the show. I don't know why, but I am just feeling so good. I have lots of energy right now, which is kind of surprising one day out, but I'm just really excited to step on stage and back on my happy place. So, as you guys might remember from Australia, one of my pre-show routines, regimens, is to find somewhere local and get a blowout. And so, that is what I just finished doing now. My hair feels really good. I am at H2 Blow Dry in Salt Lake City. So look, the blow dryer legit comes down from the ceiling. What? <laughs> Number nine, John McGregor. Just got back from the athletes check-ins and then I went and checked in with coach and it's looking good We get to carb up even more and it looks like I will get a steak and a potato for my final meal tonight So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really excited and I was just laying in this bed here where I've been most of my time and Honestly, just like reflecting on the fact that I'm here and just how grateful I am to even be here uh, Last year I did this show and I ended up placing third and I was really excited with that placing But I thought to myself like obviously any show I do I do it to win But you know I was reflecting and I was like it really feels like just yesterday I was getting ready for my first amateur show which was back in 2012. But now here I am about to step on literally the biggest pro lineup I have ever competed in, in my third season as a pro. And I can hardly believe where all of this time went. And I just, I honestly just feel so blessed and so grateful that I'm here and I thank God every day that he's given me the strength and the courage and the confidence just to live out the desires and the passion that I have in my heart and whatever is in his will tomorrow as far as the outcome goes I am just happy and I'm excited they always hook us up with some really nice goodie bags so I'll show you guys what we got this time so quest is like the one of the main sponsors of the show so we got lots of goodies from quest the new uh, cinnamon roll cereal bars these are really good if you guys have not tried them yet a box of cookies and cream. Um, a few of the other girls got different flavors, so we like switched a few. This stuff is bomb, it's a nut butter. I haven't tried this flavor yet. This is peanut butter chocolate chip. I've had the pecan pie and the blueberry muffin, I believe, uh, but it's by Legendary Foods, so definitely recommend this if you guys get a chance to try it out. Have no idea what this is. Looks like some sort of energy shot, which I could totally use right now. <laughs> some little sample packets of protein these are the X bands so this is like a booty band from the X bands I actually have a couple of these already and I love them and if you guys haven't tried these yet these are flex flavors by the brand is called uh, devotion nutrition um, but they're essentially just like a fl flavor packets that are sweetened only with stevia I like to put them like in my oatmeal and things like that so these are good this is like a really good goodie basket oh and here we go Number 42 tomorrow. So I'm going to get my tan in about 15 minutes and then I actually have to speak at a seminar this evening. They are doing a seminar for the amateur athletes that are competing this weekend and I've been asked to speak on the panel of pro athletes. I don't know what I'm speaking about yet. I think it's kind of like a Q&A type thing. So hopefully they will give me my questions ahead of time so I can at least prepare a little bit. But I am one of those like on the spot kind of gals. I, I do better when I'm under pressure. <laughs> Just trying to gather a little bit of energy so that I can bring my best and provide some good information to the athletes at the seminar this evening. So. Karen's going to share some ideas on being able to satiate and keep your mindset motivated for a complete you know, program prep, whatever length of time that is, and keep the motivation as high as you can on a day-to-day -day basis. I've been competing since 2012, so I've definitely experienced those slumps in motivation. They're inevitable. You guys know that this sport isn't easy. I mean, we sacrifice a lot and put our bodies through a lot, so those slumps that we feel in motivation, like, don't feel like you're wrong when you feel them because they happen to all of us, but there's definitely some things that I've done that have helped me push through along the way. Um, I can actually just think of like a time last week when I was on the Stairmaster. It was like one of my last final cardio sessions before coming here and I was like, God, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through. <laughs> like five more minutes, five more minutes. And I kind of just thought to myself like, 
Karen, if somebody was right next to you on the Stairmaster right now and they said to you, these last five minutes are going to make all the difference in you winning or losing, are you going to quit now? And so, you know, I try to like tell myself those kinds of things in the moments where I'm struggling the most, like those last two reps that are the most challenging or the moment when I'm going to eat another meal of chicken, rice, and asparagus that I've already had five times. You know, like, is this one meal going to make a difference between winning or losing? Are these last two reps, these are these last two reps, they're going to make the difference between winning or losing. And I just tell myself that, and it pushes me through. Um, and just even in those times that you're really struggling, I try to tell myself, too, that, like, okay, I'm sitting here complaining, like, I'm tired, I'm hungry, my glutes are sore, my shoulders are sore, I don't want to do this, I have so many other things to do. Those are just thoughts and emotions. So in that moment, like, I tell myself, remove, disattach and remove all the thoughts and remove all the emotion and literally just pick up your body and do it. Um, and it's easier said than done. It's definitely taken practice to get to that point where I can do those things. But I think just reminding yourself that like you have an end goal and you didn't come this far. You haven't come as far as you have because you quit. You've come this far because you pushed through all of those hard times already and you're highly capable of continuing to do so. And so just believing in yourself that you can push through and just remembering that um, all those little tips are just like self-talk, self like it's, it's so powerful. Um, you're, you might seem like you're like a crazy person in the gym talking to yourself, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do in those tough times, so. Um, and then I think one last final thing is just like surrounding yourself with people that um, believe in you and that sometimes believe in you more than you believe in yourself at times. Um, I have my coaches right here and there's times, you know, where I'm second guessing and questioning if I'm gonna be able to make it through and you know, just having them in my corner and cheering me on is, is so it's invaluable. And um, just, you know, surrounding yourself with like-minded people, like good friends, and um, just having good people in your corner to push you and tell you that you can cheer you on. What's up guys, just got back from the athlete seminar, the NPC seminar that we did. Um, you guys should have seen that in the previous footage. And I just had my check-in with coach, another check-in for the night, and he says I'm pretty much stage ready now. So that means I get to eat up a little bit more. So right here I have some steak and about a cup of rice. Feel good, gonna eat the steak, go check in one more time, and then get some rest. So I will see you guys in the morning on show day. Good morning, she'll, she'll go YouTube. It is show day. Here with Norman, V, and Jeff. Woke up this morning and immediately regretted my decision to do my own hair. And then when I walked okay, in, V was like, Jess has time to do your hair. And I was like, sign me up. So we're getting hair. Norman's finishing her makeup. And then I'll be moving on to makeup. I am so excited that V is here doing makeup. Oh, God. There is absolutely nobody in this world that does show makeup like V. Right. I swear, you guys, as soon as she texted me and said she was going to be here, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I will check back in with you guys when I have a face and some hair on. Hair on what? My hair's on. <laughs> when I have a face on. It's show, it's show day. We're depleted. I'm hungry and I don't know. My brain's not functioning. It's okay. Hair and makeup are done. <laughs> Thank goodness that Jess had some time for my hair. It turned out perfect. Shout out to V and Jess. Thank you guys so much. The overall just look on stage and just feeling confident with your hair and makeup is also going to portray in your confidence when you walk across the stage so making sure that if you know if you're skilled in hair and makeup by all means go for it it's not something that i'm super good at and so knowing that i put myself in the hands of somebody that is good at hair and makeup definitely helps with the total package and it definitely helps with your confidence when you're on stage still feeling pretty tight hi how you doing i'm good how are you guys Good, good, you look amazing. Thank yeah. you, I just got done with hair and makeup and then I'm about to call an Uber and head over to uh, the venue. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good, I checked in with Ryan um, one more time this morning and he's like he's so confident that this is like the best I've ever looked, so I feel really good. I'm like relaxed and just ready to do it, ready to eat. <laughs> Yeah, I look like there. Excited? I'm really excited. I'm so I'm I'm mostly excited for our vacation next week. No one else I'd rather be on vacation with than you guys. Aww, so us too. So excited. I can't wait. Are you ready? I'm ready. Welcome to you this evening or this day. 
uh, for entering care into you, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that you give her a peace that passes all understanding, Lord. I pray that when she gets on that stage, that she will just let her light shine for you, Lord, and that she will feel confident that she brought her best self to that stage, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you help her and calm her nerves, Lord, and I pray that she will just go on the stage and have fun, Lord. And, Lord, whatever the outcome, we know it's your will and it's in your hands, and we praise you and thank you for giving Karen this dream and helping her to... Do what she loves, Lord, and I just pray that you'll give her your peace and your strength, Lord, and help her through this time, and I pray that she will have a good time while she's there and enjoy all the friends that she makes and, and just have fun on that stage. And we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. All right, now I'm ready. from <laughs> California. just got back to the hotel room from pre-judging so a little update for y'all I ended up in the third call outs obviously not exactly what I was hoping for or what I had thought was going to happen but that is all right I'm still happy I'm feeling good with the package that I brought but I'm not gonna lie it's a little disheartening and a little bit discouraging at first um, and that's totally normal but you gotta keep your spirits positive and what I'm looking forward to most right now, obviously the immediate thing that I'm looking forward to is food, but uh, next week I'm going on vacation with my family and I'm just gonna take some time to wind down. As you guys know, I've been in prep since January and that's a very long time. My body's tired, my mind's tired, but you know, it's all paid off. I know for sure that I brought the best package in all of my years as a pro, so I feel good knowing that I brought a great package to the stage today my posing was on point my presentation was on point so um, but I definitely need a little bit of a break and that's all right my mind needs it my body needs it and so I'm really looking forward to 
going on this nice vacation with my family and just taking some time to just relax and recoup and recover and recoup my my mental state my emotional state and just everything in my body as well and just take that much needed time off and uh, once I get back from vacation gonna kind of try to I guess evaluate kind of the course I'm going to take uh, what shows I'm going to continue to pursue if I'm gonna keep trying to get that Olympia qualification this year um, so we'll see but right now I just uh, want to take some time to I guess kind of clear my head and just kind of get my mind back in like the right place and just take a much needed break. Shout out to my girl Narman right behind me. She is going to be battling it out for top two in finals tonight. Uh, I already know she's going to win, like let's be real. Uh, so I'm so proud of her and I'm so happy for her. If anybody deserves this win, it's definitely her. We are going to celebrate regardless tonight and thank you guys so much for all of your love, all of your support. You guys are what keeps me going in those hard times and in those times where it feels a little discouraging and a little bit disheartening. All of your positivity and your kind words just keeps me going. So thank you guys so much for being here and for being a part of my journey. I love you guys so much. All right guys, meet your Salt Lake City Pro Chip. What you got there, babe? Mmm. Cookie dough. But I'm going to Olympia. She's going to Olympia. And my babe. Aww. You guys literally been here like supporting me all weekend. I've been so happy to be here. Like, I have made it to the Olympia. Like, I'm just so happy. I love you so much. Four weeks out from New York. <laughs> New York Pro. I look like it too. Oh, it's beautiful. I love you so, I love so much you for so everything. Much. Um, give me last words for my channel. Um, it's time to eat. One day, post-show feels, feels. <laughs> Norman, how you feeling one day post-show? Stuffed. Stuffed. I left my camera back, but our breakfast this morning was absolutely bomb, and I have not even been able to put anything else in my mouth since then. I'm still full. We ate it like hours ago. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna wrap up this show day vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for being here. From the bottom of my heart, love y'all, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye! Bye.